Welcome to the Order of Operations lesson. Order of Operations is one of the five activities included in the Operations module of Middle School Math HD for the iPad. As you advance in mathematics, you'll see uh, plenty of problems that uh, call upon you to take um, several steps to, to solve. Um, for instance, a simple two-step problem would be 2 plus 2 times 5. Uh, we're going to look at um, solving this two different ways, one the correct way and one the incorrect way. Uh, we're just, I just want to lead up to why it really is important to have a, a set of rules for our operations. So we have uh, 2 plus 2 times 5 and we have a confused caveman. He doesn't know the first thing to do. Does he, does he want to do that 2 plus 2 or does he want to do the 2 times 5 first? Uh, he decides in this first example to add the 2 plus 2 to get 4. Uh, and then multiplies that by 5 to get 20. But unfortunately, that's the, the incorrect way of doing it. Um, on the other side, um, after some, some strong guidance, he's uh, decided that this time he's going to multiply first uh, and then add the 2 to get 12. Uh, and this time, indeed, he, he is correct. Now that we've determined uh, that there is a correct way and an incorrect way to solve order of operations problems, uh, let's look at the, the actual protocol that uh, mathematicians have developed uh, for us to follow. And um, so first of all, you know, looking at this um, expression at the top of the, of the screen, 4 plus 8 times 2 squared, um, really we're given, uh, with, with this PED mass, um, we're given a roadmap to follow that, that we must follow in order to solve the problem correctly. So uh, the first step is anything that's in parentheses or, or brackets. Uh, some teachers refer to this as bed mass. They replace the P with the B. Um, but either or, because parentheses and brackets are essentially the same thing. So, um, because in this first problem that we're looking at, um, there are no parentheses, we've moved down to the next step, um, exponents and square roots. Um, and you can see that there is an exponent, um, the square, that uh, would need to be done first. So really that's what it's saying is, okay, well there was no parentheses, so next we have to do the exponents and square roots. Uh, and there is one, so we have to do that first. You know, after that operation is performed, then we're going to move on to division or multiplication, and then addition or subtraction. So let's look at that uh, in practice. Okay, let's go ahead and evaluate uh, using PEDMAS. So again, uh, PEDMAS parentheses or brackets, uh, E is uh, exponents or square roots, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. Very important that we lock that into memory. Um, really what PEDMAS is, 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 is steps, because really you know how to do the math already. These, this is just putting together all the math that you already know uh, into a protocol that we must follow uh, in order to solve these multi-step problems. Um, so, so let's go ahead and, and take a look at this 4 plus 8 times 2 squared and decide um, every step of the way, you know, what is the next step that we must perform. Uh, and since there's no parentheses uh, in, in this particular problem, we can skip down to the exponents or square roots. And I do see a, an exponent. Um, there's 2 to the second power, or 2 squared, um, which we're going to we're going to figure out first. So we're going to rewrite the entire question, the entire um, expression, uh, except we're going to we're going to solve for that two two squared. So now we have four plus eight times four. So now we must decide, okay, what, what's the next step? That's really all of this is. Is what, what's the next step? What's the next step? Um, so are we going to add four plus eight, or are we going to um, multiply eight times four? Um, and the correct answer, if you're following PED mass. Um, you know, there's there's no divisions. So we skip down to that multiplication. Is we have to do this first, eight times four. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite the four, and now we're going to add that thirty-two. Uh, nothing really left to do other than add. Okay, and uh, we get thirty-six. Okay, let's look at another problem. We have three minus one to the third power plus eight divided by two. And again, we have uh, on the on the left side of the screen we have PED mass. Uh, again, uh, parentheses, exponents or square roots, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. So um, this time that there are parentheses, uh, we can see that three minus one is inside the parentheses. And you, you might say to yourself, well, you know, that's subtraction, and you know, I should, I, subtraction is at the end of PED mass, and that's not what I should be doing. But because it is inside um, the parentheses, that is the first step that we must take. Okay, so we identify that. Um, and then we're showing that 3 minus 1 is indeed 2. Um, and we remove the parentheses because there was no more work to do inside of them. So now we have 2 to the third power plus 8 divided by 2. Uh, and there's no more work to do inside parentheses. There's no parentheses left. So on the left side of the screen, we're moving down now to the E, which stands for uh, exponents or square roots. Uh, and we do indeed have um, an exponent. Okay, So we have 2 to the third power 
which means uh, 2 times 2 times 2. Um, so that's the next thing that we're going to do. Okay, so now we have 8. So 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Be very careful with, with those exponents. You don't want to just multiply 2 times 3 because that's not what it means. It means 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times itself 3 times. Okay, so now we have 8 plus 8 divided by 2. And uh, remember, uh, you know, you might feel that you have to add 8 plus 8 and then divide by 2, but that's not what you do. Be careful here. You want to make sure that you're following bed mass and bed bed mass, and that um, you, you know you you follow uh, division or multiplication before you do addition or subtraction. So this time we have to uh, divide. Eight divided by two um, is four, and then we can add. We can add. There's nothing left to do, so now we can add the eight plus four equals twelve. 